Now, as far as pharmacology, which always shows up on the NCLEX and always shows up on exams, guys, I can't stress this enough. If this is the only part of the video that you ever watch, I would focus on this. So we use the acronym A, B, C, and D for blood pressure lowering drugs. Again, always on exams and NCLEX select all that apply questions. A is for ACE inhibitors that lowers the blood pressure. These guys end in pril, like lisinopril. So guys, think pril is like a chill pril for the heart. And so the blood pressure lowers, we have a rested and relaxed heart. Now our main side effects is ACE, which is kind of like an ACE inhibitor. A for angioedema, we get a swollen red tongue. C for a hacking cough, the patient coughs like every five minutes. And E is for electrolyte imbalances. We have low sodium called hyponatremia and high potassium called hyperkalemia. Now our second A is for ARBs, which also lowers blood pressure. These guys end in sartan like low sartan. So guys, just think sartan sounds like relaxed man or sartan retirement plan. We have less workload on the heart and more relaxation to the blood pressure. They let out fluid out of the body and into the potty, so that decreases the blood pressure. Now B is for beta blockers. These slow the heart rate. They end in LOL like atenolol. So guys, think B for blocks beats or B for breaks on the heart. Or you can think since it ends in LOL, Think L for lower heart rate. Now, big caution before giving beta blockers that blocks the beats and slows the heart rate. Remember the four Bs. Bradycardia, anything below 60 heart rate or less, we cannot give this medication. B for bottoms out the blood pressure. Anyone with hypotension, we have to hold this medication. We can't give it. Beta blockers also constrict the bronchi. So any type of breathing problems, even a history of COPD or asthma, you can't give the drug. And lastly, blood sugar masking for hypoglycemic, this low blood sugar patients. So guys, big caution for diabetics. Always monitor their sugar closely. Now next is our C for calcium channel blockers. Calcium channel blockers calms the heart. So think C for calms the heart and C for controls the blood pressure. Our famous three that show up on tests is nifedipine, cardizem, and verapamil. Now, defedipine ends in D-pine, so D-pine rhymes with break time, calmed and relaxed heart, lower blood pressure. Now, cardizem ends in zem, so think like yoga zen, like perfectly calmed and relaxed heart, lower blood pressure. And lastly, verapamil, think calm and chill, relaxed heart and low blood pressure. Next is D for diuretics, so think D for decreases the blood pressure by D, draining the fluid from the body into the potty, which also D, dehydrates the body. So guys, think a dried body. Now we have potassium wasting and potassium sparing diuretics. So for potassium wasting, we have furosemide and hydrochlorothiazide. Both of these rhyme with dried. Now we only give potassium wasters if potassium is normal between 3.5 and 5.0. Anything less than 3.5 is a big no-no. You don't give the drug. Now, potassium sparing diuretics, S for spironolactone, think S for spares the potassium. This guy blocks aldosterone directly to let fluid out of the body and into the potty. And it ends in tone, so think it blocks aldosterone. Now, spironolactone retains potassium, so avoid potassium-rich foods like green leafy veggies, fruits, and even salt substitutes. Big test tip right there. Thanks for watching. For our full video and new quiz bank, Click right up here to access your free trial. And please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Last but not least, a big thanks to our team of experts helping us make these great videos. All right, guys, see you next time.